I'm Sam from Spares Box and welcome to Box Built, where we're gonna take a 1970s 40 series Land Cruiser and turn it into a high powered, absolute track conquering monster. So why are we doing what we're doing to this Land Cruiser? Well, it's from the 70s, it's a 40 series and it's got some serious sentimental value to its owner. Step one, well, what do we need? We need a Land Cruiser. So come with us as we head up to his farm and pick this bad boy up. Guys, Sam from Spares Mobs and it's an incredibly exciting day. We're out here in beautiful, very sunny, very warm Western, New South Wales, about three to three and a half hours north of Sydney. We're picking up a very, very special car today. It's the Spares Mobs' next project car. It's 1979 FJ45 Land Cruiser. And let me tell you, I cannot wait to strip this thing down and start building it and showing you guys the process. We're grabbing it from Jay, who's the property manager up this way. As you can see, it's a bit of a farm beast, but when it's finished, it's gonna be absolutely mint, guys. Check it out. Being a 40 series Land Cruiser from the 70s, it's obviously had a pretty messy history of owners. Now, our particular owner of this car has had it for around eight years, and it's basically just been used as a farm truck ever since. And what we're doing, we're rebirthing it. All good to go? Yeah. Oh, beauty. We sat down with our resident expert, Leon, to find out a little bit more about the car choice and what's going on. So I guess, you know, the obvious question, why did we start the FJ project? So one of our mates to the company over a few beers said, hey, I've got this FJ project. You know, I'm turning 50. I've always wanted to turn it from a farm, a farm basher into something with a bit more guts, a bit more glamour. I love the icons. I love the resto mod type vibe. I'd love for you guys to take it on. We resisted for like two or three years because we weren't ready and, and now that we've like built a content space and built uh, a place to work on cars and we can um, really showcase the sort of enthusiasts that we have in the business, we were like, yeah, we can, we, we can take that project on. So when you take an older car like a 40 series Land Cruiser and you try to put around 500 horsepower in the front of it, you're obviously gonna run into a few issues. Being a 40 series, it's obviously an older chassis. It's from the 70s and they're originally designed to have some flex in them, which of course for our application is a terrible thing. So if that's gonna to need to be strengthened. We're of course also taking a GM based LS engine and trying to make it fit in the front of this thing that used to just have a small diesel donk and to make it all work seamlessly is gonna be very time consuming. As well as that, we had to find a gearbox that suited our application, had to be part-time four-wheel drive, and also be able to handle the power that the LS engine's gonna handle. There's things like shift to positioning too. And at the end of the day, with all this said and done, the car needs to be drivable and functional. It needs to serve a purpose for our investor, it needs to be functional for him to go camping, but also to get around town, and it also needs to be exciting for him to drive. These are all the problems that we had to overcome and what we're gonna be working through. good opportunity for us to, to build a unique car, for him to get something that's pretty cool. Um, it's got some sentimental value, uh, the car to him, with some of um, their close family friends. So all in all, great project, great base car. Um, it blends the sort of off-road and on-road with the LS and the FJ. Um, so hopefully our customers uh, like it and we're all car people. So we thought it was a good opportunity to build something cool. Well guys, that's episode one of Box Built done. 
Make sure you tune in next time as we start to tear this bad boy down and check out the nitty gritty and just what we've gotten ourselves into. If you like what you saw today, make sure you head down below, you like, you subscribe, you check it out, you leave a comment and let us know what you want to see in future episodes.